I had a great discussion with Adam from the channel Epus Vox on Brian Lindup's show a few weeks back. We talked about the value of free software, the hurdles one might face migrating away from a proprietary video production suite, and the benefits of analog audio. One word that kept coming up in that discussion is workflow. If you want to watch the whole thing, and I suggest you do, there's a link up in the top right corner. I thought it might be enlightening to share what my entire workflow actually looks like. So hi, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer, and this is my Linux video production workflow. Depending on the video I'm working on, the beginning of the project can vary. Usually, if I'm doing a review, I'll play as much of the game as I can and record as much video as possible. I've recently added the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 into my repertoire. This device has solved a few problems I was having since the original Live Gamer Portable recorded in DVD transport format, and the older hardware iteration didn't support Linux in any way. The LGP2, on the other hand, can be used to get high quality HDMI captures into any of my Linux devices. In fact, my Christmas Day livestream was achieved using the LGP2 and OBS, so cheers to that. Other videos generally start with an idea. Most of the time that idea comes to me in the shower. What if I made a video about Linux? From there, I sit down and write the script. Once it's done, I'll usually bounce it off a friend or two and see what they think. If I get useful feedback, I'll make alterations and then it's on to filming. The equipment I use for the channel hasn't changed much. I have added the Canon Vixia HFR72 camcorder that I use for any number of things while my primary camera, the Nikon D5200 DSLR, is busy. While doing live action video, I record my voice with a Tascam DR40 linear PCM recorder. Otherwise, I use a CAD GLX2200 microphone. It's an XLR mic that's connected to my Yamaha MG10XU mixing board. Not much from my audio setup has changed over the last year, though I did purchase another XLR condenser mic that works well for recording two people at once. I've used it in a few personal projects and on some live streams where I've had guests. I recently upgraded my studio lights to a pair of 504 LED studio panels. However, I'm not quite pleased with them yet. They're what I used in my last video, and believe it or not, they were set to the lowest brightness setting. I'm going to get a third one of these and use it to brighten the background, which should balance out the lighting on me. People have asked about the teleprompter I used. Well, it's nothing pretty, but it gets the job done. It's a large picture frame that I drilled holes through. I fixed a pair of dowels with 45 degree slices through them to the frame and to a base. The base is just a half thick inch plywood. I added two quarter 20 threaded nuts to the base, one oriented up, the other one down. The nut on the underside mounts to my tripod. The other nut has a straight bracket attached, which I recycled from a slave flash that came with my DSLR. On the other end of the bracket is a tower of terror upon which I attach my DSLR with a hot shoe bolt. This tower is what allows the camera to actually see through the glass. Then I cover the entire back end with some black felt to exclude any light between the glass and the lens. Oh, and if you're wondering how I actually get words on the glass, I use a Samsung Galaxy Tab E that I won in a raffle last year. I downloaded a teleprompter app and it works like a dream. So that's it for the live portion. I, I wanted to split this video up because I felt like it would get really long if I didn't do that. So next week, I'll show you how I do my audio production, edit my videos, create titles and thumbnails. What do you think? Is there some equipment I could improve? Leave me a comment and let me know or tweet at me at the Linux Gamer. You can also support the show over on Patreon or now on LibrePay, the free and open source alternative. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And as always, thank you so much for watching.